And now to a new concern tonight from Pinellas County teachers. Just one week before the start of school, they may have to teach both e-learners and in-person students at the same time. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell tonight with the story. In just days, Patrick Mugen will be in front of his middle school students. But on top of teaching kids in person, he'll also be juggling students online at the same time. Simultaneous teaching represents the absolute worst of both ways of teaching. Simultaneous teaching, a model Pinellas County Schools is using in some classrooms to lower the number of students in a classroom at any one time. Mugen thought it might happen in certain situations, like if someone's the only teacher teaching a specialized class. Instead, he says it's both confusing and and alarming. If I'm te teaching face to face, I can give all my students all the attention that I possibly can. If I'm teaching my students online, I can give them all the attention and all the everything that they need to the best of my ability from a distance. But if I'm doing both of those things at once, it's it's asking teachers to wear a, a a ridiculous amount of hats. The bottom line is everyone's going to get shortchanged. Pinellas Classroom Teachers Association President Nancy Velarde also worries teachers' attention will be split. She says they're giving the district a chance to keep cutting back the number of teachers doing simultaneous teaching, but they could start an official grievance process if the final count doesn't land in a reasonable spot. I can't even imagine trying to deal with little ones in the classroom and little ones on a screen who are probably not really understanding what they're supposed to do. The district says it recognizes this isn't ideal, but it says the reason behind the model is for health and safety, trying to protect students and staff with social distancing. It's putting a lot of extra pressure and a lot of extra work on teachers not to mention all the safety concerns that we're feeling right now. Still, this teacher's goal remains the same. 100% student success. Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.